Hey everybody, this is the Scotsman at Alabama Pipe Welders Academy. We got some Schedule 10 stainless here. We're gonna six inch. We're gonna put a root in it and a cap, and uh, it's just be two passes. And uh, kind of a different technique, face feeding it. Mike Andrews, he uh, he's a performance hand, and he teaches for us, and just a great instructor and uh an excellent welder so one eight gap about 75 to 80 amps and uh one eight tungsten keeping it sharp is a key here and not a lot of stick out number 12 cup and then one eight filler wire for the root so we put four tacks in here on this one you can put two or three and use a wedge uh, basically what we did we feathered the tacks down pretty thin on the sides and as we're coming up from the bottom to the top you just consume that tack you never stop you don't have to tie in and and pretty much just weld right through all the tacks as you can see here it's feathered pretty pretty thin one eighth gap one eighth wire i'm about to get this root started purge is a key here so make sure you got enough pressure for a six inch, if you're used to doing two inch pipe, you're gonna need a little more pressure on six inch. Uh, just make sure you pay attention to your purge lines that they're secure, not gonna get pulled out. I want to tag her before it. I'm gonna be uh, starting off here on the bottom side, come up, one, two, three, dip, one, two, three, dip, one, two, three, dip, one, two, three, dip. So basically, I'm going to do that off the whole way. Right. Face feed it. So here we go. Now, in real time, in real life, it's a lot quicker than the one, two, three count. So just keep that in mind as you're watching here. Now, how you get each dime to stack in there is uh, the key here is adding the wire. So you'll see him in a minute. Every time his thumb moves and pushes that wire, that's another dime laying in there. So it's one, two, three, and then he's pushing with his thumb. You see him feeding that wire. And you can get root reinforcement here uh, on the bottom from face feeding it this way. Now he is walking it pretty wide. He's going from bevel edge to bevel edge and uh, on the outside of the pipe. And uh, basically just keeping that puddle, the wire connected to the puddle in between dips, letting it keyhole, and then push a little bit of wire and there's your dime, your stacking effect. The key here on this tungsten is not to have a big stick out. You want to have that tungsten pushed up into the cup, not real far, but you just want to have a little stick out here that keeps your heat focused right in front of the gas and uh, you're not melting a whole bunch of metal way out in front of you and having to worry about burning the tip of the wire or balling up on you. So a lot of the different cup sizes and tungsten stick out so they make a big difference on roots and you can kind of see this root as he put it in it's almost flush to the outside of the pipe it's almost a root and a cap all in one and it looks real good we'll take a look on the inside and and there you go there's your dime effect above flush from face feeding at the bottom looking clean good nice stack of dimes in there good job mike This is an old saying, you know, from Kipling. They, old welders, we don't get to hear stuff like this. They talk about this and, and you know, teach it in colleges and all that. But uh, here, here we go. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowances for their doubting too. If you can wait and not be tired by waiting, or being lied about, don't deal in lies. Or being hated, don't give way to hating. And yet, don't look too good, nor talk too wise. If you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thoughts your aim, if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same. If you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken, twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools. Or watch the things you gave your life to broken and stoop and build them up with worn out tools. If you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it all in one turn on 
pitch and toss and lose and start again at your beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone and so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold on. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue or walk with kings nor lose the common touch, if neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you, but none too much. If you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything in it. And which is more, you'll be a man, my son. Kind of like that song that Tim McGraw sings that always stay humble and kind. I think that pretty much sums up what we were just talking about. But uh, here we go. Back to Wilden. He's coming up on the top. He's going to show you how to terminate this, this route as he's tying in up here. He's about to come out of it. And he's walking it out, cooling it off, and then coming out so you don't leave a fish eye. That's one of the biggest things we see at the school, you know, is uh, on this stainless, and it gets them on the test and everywhere else is, is fish eyes. If you can do one thing is learn how to terminate the whale properly and practice it. Here's what it looks like with the root completed. Touching up a few uh, high spots and getting ready to cap this thing. So the cap technique's pretty much the same way. He's just gonna be adding wire and uh, same cup, number 12 cup and you can see his technique here. We're gonna zoom in. Just has a little stick out on that tungsten and just pushing just a little bit of wire. We're gonna speed it up here in a minute just to get through to the other side, let you see a finished product. A couple of important tips on this cap. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to let it cool down a little bit in between the root and the cap so you can be able to carry the metal and not burn it up and not get any sag or undercut or wash out, whatever you want to call it. But uh, give it some time to cool down on the test. You know, you're going to want to keep the purge on it uh, in the field, keep the purge on it. But uh, just to tell you a little bit about the school. We have a, a pretty good thing going on down here in Mobile. It's a, it's a great pipe welding program, 16 weeks. Uh, you can start with little to no money down. Uh, we even have a program called the Skills Build where they, they pay you while you're in school. I think the next uh, group to come through will be in August, and uh, they give you like a guaranteed job and, and, uh, and all that. But we have about a 95% uh, employment rate after graduation. So, you know, our guys are getting jobs, uh, good paying jobs, and uh, I encourage you to look us up online go to our website and uh you know like us follow us all that stuff on the social media uh, if you ever have any questions feel free to give us a call write us an email and we'll do our best to help you out uh, we appreciate you watching this video and you, you know your support so uh we'll see you next time hope you have a good good week